Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been a while, but ever since the big beautiful bill passed, my solar installation company, Solar Time, here in Dallas, Texas, has been so busy, you don't even wanna know. Today, I wanna to talk to you about one of the most common questions I have been hearing in recent months, or ever since the news about the tax credit going away. Should you install solar panels now in 2025, taking advantage of that 30% federal tax credit, or should you wait until next year when the credit will no longer be available, but prices of equipment and installation will probably go down? Now, this is not an easy decision, and honestly, I see so many of my customers are struggling with it. Some people are afraid they will lose the credit if they don't act immediately. Others say, I will just wait because prices will definitely drop. That's why today we're going to calmly analyze both scenarios step by step. So from this video, I hope you will learn exactly what to do in your particular case. So just stay with me until the end because this may be actually the most important content that you are watching right now and it can really help you make the right decision. So let's start with why this dilemma even exists in the first place. So on one hand, we have the 30% federal tax credit, which is still valid, but only until the end of this year, 2025. That's a huge benefit. For example, if we're talking about a 12 kilowatt system at today, Texas market prices, such system would cost about $30,000. Thanks to the tax credit, you can now take $9,000 back, which means your cost actually drops down to 21,000. That sounds amazing. But on the other hand, we have to be honest, brutally honest here. Today, prices are heavily inflated. Financing costs are high due to the high interest rates. The prices of panels, inverters, and batteries are also high because the demand is enormous. So on top of all of that, installation companies like myself have full calendars, so labor prices have also gone up. So in practice, this means that today you're paying more than what you would under normal conditions. So fair prices in Texas right now range from about $2.20 all the way up to $2.50 per watt for a solar portion of your system, not including batteries. Now, if you choose premium components like REC panels or M-phase microinverters, this cost might climb closer to like $2.70 per watt. And this is totally normal because you are paying for the top quality equipment. But I've also seen quotes creeping well over $3 per watt. At that rate, a 12 kilowatt system suddenly starts costing over $36,000, sometimes even $40,000. And let me tell you, there is absolutely no good justification for paying that much for a 12 kilowatt system. I actually will be releasing a full video exposing one of the worst cases I've seen so far in Dallas, a Dallas installer charging nearly $60,000 for a 12 kilowatt system. Them. That's a cash price too. I will walk you through that contract line by line and show you exactly what to watch out for and how not to take advantage of. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and definitely stay tuned for that breakdown. But to give you a quick taste of what I'm talking about, because I do see quite a lot of competitors quotes, let me share a real life example. So one potential customer here in DFW sent us a quote from another company. And when I opened it, honestly, I had to like shake my hand and look at the price yet again, because we are talking about $48,000 for a 12 kilowatt system. Again, cash no dealer fees. That's nothing short of taking advantage of people who may not know what the fair market price is. And here is the truth. Companies that pull stunts like this usually do not last long. They burn through a few unsuspecting customers and once the sales dry up, they vanish, leaving homeowners stranded without service or any warranty support whatsoever. And what happens then? You guessed it, those same homeowners eventually come to me or other highly rated local installer in the area for repairs and help. And of course, we don't turn those customers away. It's pretty sad because it never should have happened in the first place. But this is why choosing a trustworthy installer is so important. Don't sign up with the first company that pressures you with a limited time deal. Do your homework, compare prices, and know what's fair. Now to illustrate the reality even more, let's add an example with solar plus storage, so battery. The system alone, 12 kilowatts without any energy storage today costs around $28,000, $30,000, give or take. But if you now start adding a battery, the cost of that entire system now jumps 
to 44,000 or 45,000. Again, give or take one to $2,000. Now this is with one battery, like adding one power wall or a Franklin battery. Here too, the 30% tax credit applies. So if the entire system costs $45,000, then you can deduct as much as 13,500 from your taxes for that tax credit. That is a massive difference. And since we're talking about batteries, let me say this very clearly. In my opinion, battery prices are going to drop even faster than the prices of the panels or the inverters. And you're asking why? Well, that's because manufacturers already have full warehouses and will need to find a way to sell them specifically or especially when sales drop next year. So I kind of predict that we may expect a drop of 20 to 30%, maybe even more. So it's a bit like a roulette. No one can give you 100% certainty, but we all know the trend. Battery prices have been going down every year and will only continue to go down. Now, the lack of sales will again only speed up this process and the reductions in prices. So if someone really needs a battery right now, it makes sense to buy it together with getting the tax credit, but if you can wait a year or two, you will probably buy an energy storage system slightly cheaper next year. Now, I also wanna give you some fresh context. Last week, um, or when you're watching this video, maybe two weeks ago, I was at the biggest industry trade show in the USA, RE Plus in Las Vegas. There were countless companies and an incredible number of visitors. I was honestly shocked with how many people were there. And let me tell you, no matter who you talk to, everyone had their hands full. Every installers was saying the same thing. We're not short on work. We have waiting lists. We are not fighting for customers. And that's exactly why prices are so high right now. Companies know that the customers will come anyway, so they don't have to compete much on price. Now, manufacturers alone raised prices already after all the tariffs came in and some that are not even affected raised prices too. And why? Because why not? I myself see those price increases every single time I buy a container of panels. So I personally suspect that as we get closer to the end of the year, the price may be even higher than the 220 per watt. It might be closer to 250 or even higher. All right guys, so let's summarize this whole situation. Now, if you decide to install your solar system right now, you have a guarantee of the tax credit if you choose an installer that can make that installation in 2025 happen. Just remember, we're already at the end of September. That's $9,000 saved on a $30,000 system. Now, on top of that, you immediately start savings on your electric bills. Every month means lower monthly payments and you gain energy independence right away but you are paying a premium for equipment and for your installation. Now, on top of that, you need to hurry with the paperwork because HOA approvals, permits, inspections, all that can take weeks, if not months. So now what if you wait, right? If you wait till 2026, then that tax credit will be gone. That's a fact. Now your system price may, keyword may, go down. Then that 12 kilowatt system, which costed 28 or $30,000, now is costing 22 or $23,000 without any tax credit. Now, on top of that, loans will be cheaper because interest rates are being cut, but you lose a year of savings on your bills as well. Here is an important distinction. If you have low electric usage and are planning a small system, I would say you can safely wait. In such a case, the loss from not having the credit will not be as painful and drastic. Like for example, a five kilowatt system may cost $13,000. 30% of that is not as drastic as those people who are buying a 15, 20, 30. We installed an 80 kilowatt system just a few weeks ago. So if you're planning a large system where 30% of that cost is tens of thousands of dollars, then it's really not something to gamble with. In those cases, I would say act now just do a few things. Make sure you get multiple quotes and negotiate the price to what should be the norm. Use AI, do not get screwed. Review it with ChatGPT or whichever one you use. And finally, I wanna emphasize one more thing. Even if solar system prices stayed at their current levels, which I think is pretty impossible, but let's say that, you know, they do stay at the same price right now, even then installing solar panels is absolutely profitable. Why? 
Well, because electricity prices will keep going up. Right now, we are seeing a giant growth of artificial intelligence and the construction of massive data centers. These facilities that consume unimaginable amounts of energy and the demand will only continue to grow. And when the demand grows, utilities will rise prices. Exactly what we're seeing with the panels and everything else right now. Now, I'm convinced that in the coming years, energy prices will rise faster than they have in the past. And that's exactly why solar is an absolutely amazing investment. It pays for itself. Whether you install now or a year from now, there's nothing to hesitate about. Solar panels are absolutely the right decision. Now, unless you have a really shaded roof and you're unwilling to cut any of your trees and there is no sunshine getting to it, then just don't do it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for staying with me until the end. Let me know in the comments, what are you doing? Are you waiting? Are you installing right now? Give us some feedback, leave some comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.